All right, y'all. So there's actually been an update in the whole CoffeeZilla KSI thing going on here. So basically, CoffeeZilla accused KSI of scamming. He had proof and evidence. Someone actually did a lot of research into KSI scamming his audience. And KSI has responded. I didn't actually see this response, so we'll be checking it out. Um, let me know what you all think. Do you think that KSI actually scammed? Do you consider it scamming? Let me know. Let me know how you feel about this after we check this out. So yeah, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and let's get it. JJ, what are your thoughts on this? Uh, yes, this is the whole CoffeeZilla thing. Well, honestly, it's it's kind of mad how <laughs> CoffeeZilla has made not one, not two, but three videos on, on me, and I haven't even responded yet. I haven't even said anything, <laughs> and this brother is just trying to annihilate me. <laughs> Saying I'm a scammer, <laughs> but uh, I don't know why would I scam? I've turned down millions and millions and millions of deals, uh, like tens of millions of me to do. I don't know some gambling stuff or some uh, just some really like I'm trying. To, what's the what's the word? Um, just low hanging fruit. Um, fruit. <laughs> low hanging fruit. So many low hanging fruit type deals. And I've just passed on it. I've just said, nah. So why would I go <laughs> on crypto and pump and dump? <laughs> For what? I think there was at one point I, I pump and dumped, apparently, <laughs> $450. Crazy. <laughs> and I, I'm a scammer. Crazy. Uh, look, I appreciate my fans. Yeah, you lot are the reason why I'm in this position. I'm not going to scam you, okay? I don't need to scam you. I'm good. I'm in a great position. Why would I scam? I'm into crypto. I saw, I saw one of the comments. They said, they said his defense was, I, I'm, I'm rich. Why would I scam? Like, that was just the only defense he had. I'm rich. And why would I scam? And I mean, that's definitely not enough. That's not enough of an explanation. I, I really haven't really heard much of an explanation. Um, I don't think he's, this is not an official response video from him. I think he's just talking to his fans, though. So, his fans. So maybe it's coming from that perspective where he's not actually replying to the points and arguments made against him. He's just basically telling his fans that it's ridiculous and they can trust him, which I mean, it's more trustworthy if you explain what was going through your mind at the point where you were doing some of this stuff. Um, I think that that would that would kind of help out. But yeah, just my thoughts. I'm very interested in crypto. Uh, CoffeeZilla. I'm a huge KSI fan, by the way. So that's why this kind of, it's kind of a weird place. I mean, it's kind of a weird thing to be in. Obviously, I, I'm a crypto investor. But at the same time, I actually like KSI's work ethic and the things that he's been able to accomplish. I don't know why he would be scamming. But, I mean, the stuff that I saw didn't really look good. Tweeting one thing, like, tweet. I thought I saw some, like, diamond hand tweets or something like that about something. And then two hours later selling, that looks crazy, especially in this space. And I'm I'm in this space, so that's why it looks kind of weird. Uh, making his video, uh, yeah, I thought it was uh, qu quite out of order, personally. Uh, he's not made, not one, not two, but three videos. Three videos on me. He's made two uh, videos on YouTube and one on Patreon, I've seen. I don't know. Like, he's calling me a scammer. Uh, I'm just really into crypto. I don't see how I've scammed or pump and dumped. I've literally made a separate Twitter account just so I can talk about crypto and just so I can, like, um, talk with people in the community to do with crypto because I was just very interested in it. And I think that, I mean, see, certain things would make sense, but because he did make a whole new Twitter to talk crypto and stuff like that. So when you're like, people think that KSI is an experienced investor. He's not. So when you're some coming from when you're like KSI, I can think back and basically you get in these positions where you're FOMOing into something because of something that you heard. So maybe he tweeted something after watching a bullish video on something, or he, he got pumped about something and then he kept digging into it for two hours and then he stopped being bullish and wanted to go into something else. So he sold. Like, maybe there's some excuses like that that would make sense to me. Because you, your your mind changes, like, you know, like with the snap of a finger. Like, especially when you have no conviction and you're not investing properly. 
when you haven't done research, you haven't done your own due diligence, you don't know exactly why you're investing in something, what you're hoping to get out of it, your entry point, your, your target, your exit targets. Like when you haven't taken the time to actually establish a plan, anything is possible, but he's not really given any excuses. I have never heard him give excuses that would even make sense in the context of he's a beginner. It's just like it, this, this play, the things that he was doing just looked sketch with no actual response as to why, why promote something to your audience and then sell it hours later after it goes up. As soon as you promote it, it starts going up. Then you, that's when you decide to sell and stop believing in it. You just made a lot of other people believe in something. Then you decided to sell. That's the only thing I don't agree with um, when it comes down to this situation. Like, it doesn't make sense. I, I think that it was clearly a pump and dump, but that's just my personal opinion. I don't, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. But I mean, obviously he wouldn't be able to say, oh yeah, I was trying to see if I could pump and dump. I was testing or something like he, obviously he can't come out and say that, but yeah. And uh, I still am. Like, I can show you, like, I'm out here. Um, let me, let me, let me pull this up. Look at this. Mine's on trading view. I'm here trying to learn how to trade. I've been... I've... You're on trading view. I mean, that's crazy. Been doing this. <laughs> Trade His trading view, bro. I've never seen trading view white. <laughs> like, what are you looking at, bro? Like, what is this? Like, that's crazy. Yeah, that is, that's crazy, bro. It's mind blowing that he actually tries to look at these charts in any way, shape, or form. This looks disgusting. <laughs> I'm out here, bro. Like I'm just trying to see. Oh, okay. What at what point should I buy in? At what point should I sell a bit? At what point should I buy in more, etc. Like I'm not here trying to scam people. Like this Coffeezilla guy is saying, bro. And it's a shame because I like coffee. I like his videos. I uh, I think he's entertaining. And then he comes at me. I'm like, whoa, what? And like, we've been going, like, we've been cool for ages. Like, there's tweets of me and him, like, just being chill and everything. And he's just, I don't know, maybe rent is due. <laughs> maybe. So, <laughs> see, but that's why I like him. Like, I mean, he said maybe rent is due, bro. Like, relax, bro. Like, you you did some sketchy shit. But I mean, this, he's, he's pretty fucking hilarious. I don't, and, and it wasn't like, I don't think it was massive amounts that he got. I think he's just shit at pumping and dumping too. Like he's shit at crypto apparently, and he's shit at pumping and dumping. It's like, he's not really good in this space. Like he, he's not good in this space, yet he's trying. He's trying it. So, I mean, yo, keep working. Like not, not on the pump and dumps, but keep working on actually understanding the space and not putting yourself in positions where you got to do stuff like this because you got more than enough money to make a lot of profits, bro. More than enough, like, so yeah. He needs some money, it's an L, it's an L. He's there, he's been trying to call me a scammer and I think it's fallen flat. And uh, yeah, look, I'm building up a case and I'm trying to decide what I want to do with it. Do I want to go at him and just obliterate him? Do I want to take it legally? Or do I just not give a shit? <laughs> I'm not sure how you would take a case against him legally i'm not sure how that would work necessarily because first off he wasn't really the one who said anything he he's he wasn't the one who did the research on it all he did was present what was found you did tweet one thing and then your actions showed another multiple times nothing that he said can be disputed so it sounds good like maybe to a bunch of kids a kid audience it would make sense that oh, ksi must be innocent he said he's going to take this legal um, but I don't think you would win legal. Nothing legal could actually come out of this. And I think only kids would probably believe that you could like what he said happened, happened. It looks exact. It, and to any jury is going to look exactly the same way. You said one thing, then a, a couple of hours later, you sold on multiple different occasions. And after you said something, the price went up and then you, you sold on your audience. Like that's that alleged. That's those, are the allegations against you. And yeah, I mean, that's what it that's what it looked like. That's the evidence that he presented. So unless you didn't tweet and sell a couple of hours later, then I mean I don't think you really have a case. Because like you can see online, uh on Twitter, YouTube, etc., like all the comments, people are just they're like, 
he's not a scammer. You got this completely wrong. Like people, have, you know, big up everyone who's so, people saying that you got this completely wrong. That's fine. But what was the evidence to support that claim that you got it completely wrong? I saw a Reddit thread that showed that you were very much just incompetent tweeting random stuff a lot of times on Twitter. So, yeah, I mean, that that was one thing. But, yeah, it's like, mm, I, I didn't really see, I didn't really see much evidence supporting you being innocent or you not doing the, the allegations against you. If anything, people can are arguing your intention behind what you were doing, not the fact that you did it. And we can't know your intentions. So regardless of what your intentions were, you were tweeting things one minute and then the next hour or so you were selling after you had just tweeted, which pumped the price. I mean, I'm not sure. Like, yeah, your fans are supposed to say be on your side, but yeah. It's got my back. Everyone, you know, on Twitter, or Reddit, etc. Like it's it was crazy to see like everyone actually had my back because normally everyone's just shitting on me. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm tempted to just ignore it and just move on because look, I I don't really care. <laughs> I did scam and it's obvious to see and there's a lot of proof. <laughs> he said I did scam. <laughs> Yo, that's the same thing he put on the thumbnail. <laughs> hey, my man did this whole little this whole little spiel just to say the same thing he put on this on the thumbnail <laughs> i didn't scam that's crazy to show it so yeah uh i'm still into crypto uh obviously i don't tweet as much about it as i did back in the day because <laughs> we got people like copyzilla who's ready to try and call me a scammer if i tweet anything <laughs> god's sake oh I literally, like, I have to be so careful. You don't understand with me. Let me do this. With me, I have to be so careful with everything I do. People are so ready to destroy me. They're just waiting for any little slip up. And then they're, then they're on me, bro. <laughs> and they try to crucify me and try to get me canceled or try to fuck me up. Bro, it's nuts being me, man. It's long. That's why it's, it, sometimes it's easy just to say nothing at all. But even when I say nothing at all, I also get in trouble. So it's so, it's long, bro. It's long. <laughs> oh, but anyway, anyway, it is what it is. Let's move on. Yeah, I mean, that wasn't really a defense or anything. I mean, like I said, I like KSI. He's definitely a, a dope guy entertainment wise. I don't know what his intentions was behind what he did. He didn't really give much of an explanation as to why he, he was seen doing that stuff so many times. But, um, yeah, this, this response wasn't that yeah that great. So, yeah, let me know what you all think. How do you all feel about this, his response, what he had to say back, man? Um, yeah, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.